Hi friends. Well, we're going to bake a birthday cake for Bear and Kitty's here to help too. I think they're actually looking for handouts though. So I've got, uh, you want to come over here Bear? This is where we have all of our things that we have to use. <laughs> he wants the Girl Scout cookies that are up on top of the counter. That's what he's after. Well, we're going to make you a birthday cake. Come on. Yeah? <laughs> you were there cookies? Huh? <laughs> Come over here. Yeah. See? Yeah, that's my bear. That's my bear. Yeah. My boy. Yeah. Ooh, he's coming up for the camera now. Yeah, see what we're going to do? We're going to make you a birthday cake over here. Well, that's my plan. Um, the chicken just laid a whole bunch of eggs here. So that ought to go pretty good. Uh, that's a rooster, so I don't know how it managed to lay eggs. <laughs> well, the monkeys brought some bananas in. They wanted me to make a banana cake, but Bear doesn't want a banana cake. He would rather have Fruit Loops on top of his. <laughs> or peanut butter back there. I think we're going to go with the peanut butter. I'm not sure. I've got myself one of these cake mixes. What do you think, Bear? Are we going to? Is this going to work? Huh? Well, you are going to be a helper. Okay, back to where I was here. I got a cake mix and a bowl, some eggs, and water, and I got a couple different cake pans here. Not sure which ones I can use. I think it'll work no matter what. Bear don't care, do you? You don't care what I eat, as long as it tastes good, right? Yeah, he's busy. So I'm gonna get to work in here, and I gotta open up my box and see how what I can do here. Well, I'm back again. I had to gather up some of the supplies I needed to make this cake. I was reading the box here and it said I needed some oil. I don't know if this this kind of oil will work. It's, it's a synthetic kind of oil. It'll probably be okay. And then I have to grease up the pan. That should work for that. And I was kind of thinking it might taste good with some nuts in it. So I went on the workshop and got myself some nuts. And I got the right tools so I can tighten up the nuts and mix them up good. So I think we'll be ready to start cooking here pretty soon. Then if I get bored I can work on my project here. I've been building this thing for about four months. <laughs> I work on it a little bit at a time. It's going to be my an amplifier and a radio transmitter if I ever get it done. But that'll be another video or it's two or three if I get it done. So meanwhile I'm going to work on making a cake here start mixing all this stuff up but I don't know I'll taste this oil first if it don't work right then we'll use this stuff here this is this will probably end up tasting better I suppose <laughs> so okay well we're gonna get the work in here see what I can get done yeah, I think I had a pretty good idea adding some nuts to the cake mix hey eh? that ought to taste good I don't know they might be kind of hard on my beaters though I'm not sure if I should do that so I got to get some eggs in there too, if I can fight them away from this chicken here. Those monkeys can have their bananas right now. I'm going to get mixing up here. Oh wow, now I'm confused. It said to put in three whole eggs here. I don't know if we can read that because the light's going to shine on it. So I don't know. I wonder if I should crack these. I would suppose so. I don't know. Then if I got, I figure if it gets a little too thin, I can always add a little wood glue to it kind of sticks to your ribs better that way but we'll see how it goes I think I'm gonna look up online if I should crack these open first before I start mixing them up so hang on a minute here I'm making progress here it's said to turn the oven on get that warming up right away so I went to do that over here I think it said 350 we'll start with that and then I found these three guys hiding in the oven staring at me they got their eyes glowed they're kind of cool Actually, I bought those real cheap for, I'm going to put them outside for my lights if it ever warms up. So then, oh, these are the beaters I use when I make my bear treats. Because if I use these regular beaters in this mixer, the dough gets too thick. So just in case, in case anybody was wondering. Anyhow, I've got my bag of mix here. I'm going to dump it in there and make a big mess. 
I did find out I'm supposed to remove the eggs from the shells. So I did that quick here so that probably won't be as crunchy, but I think the nuts will help make up for that. <laughs> so I'm going to dump everything in here now. So hang on while I do that or I'm going to make a big mess. Okay, I dumped in that bag full of mix and then it says one and a fourth cups of water. So I think this thing's a cup. I think it used to be one of the play cooking pans from the probably my grandchildren's cooking set, but it works pretty good. Got to be creative sometimes. Then I decided to use cooking oil instead of motor oil. That'll probably taste better. Okay, and I got all that in there. And the pretty exact science here. Okay, now we got to use get this thing out of the way here. There's not being much help. He's, he's hiding from me. Oh man, I, I dropped the cord in the mix. I hope that don't make a problem. I got little eggs in there. Uh oh. Always, always turn off your equipment before you plug it in. I think I read that somewhere online too. I don't know. Okay. Here we go. Oh man, this is, oh, this is going to be a mess. This thing's going way too fast. Holy cow. Um, <laughs> hang on while I do this. I'm going to mess this thing up for sure. I'm supposed to do it for two minutes. Okay, due to the wonders of video magic, two minutes went by. I didn't make too bad of a mess here. Bear and Kitty can clean it up for me. I think I should have used my smaller mixer. <laughs> but I got it mixed up good. So the next step is I got to put some non-sticky stuff on my pans here. I decided to use the Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty dangerous. It's a regular cooking spray. It's made with olive oil. I don't think that WD-40 would have been the proper thing to use, seeing as I found a can of this. This is a fun part. I get to paint the whole stove, and then when I turn the burners on next time, it smokes up the whole kitchen. That's kind of fun. And I'll spray these up, and we'll make a couple little cakes here, too. I don't know how this is going to work. I think that's what I did last year, but I didn't take the time to watch my video because I don't know how to bake bake cakes, as you can probably figure it out by now. <laughs> uh oh, the oven's ready. I better get going here. So hang on while I take this and pour it into all the pans. Boy, I got myself a pretty good project going here. I'm not sure. This is supposed to probably go in a bigger pan, if I remember right. It gets a lot bigger after it starts baking, so we might have a kind of like uh, mushrooms kind of cakes here. But I think I'm going to decorate them up a little bit, seeing as Bear and Kitty can't have chocolate. What I'm going to do is put some of these colorful Fruit Loops on the top. I think that'll look pretty cool, hey? Eh? The yellow ones and the orange ones and the blue one. Yeah, I think I'm onto something here, hey? Eh? I don't know, we'll put some red ones on this one, and a green one. I don't think they'll ruin the cake, will they? I don't know, well, we're going to find out in about 15 minutes. Okay, we got some more. Might as well put them on this cake, too. This is exciting. I feel like I'm having fun here. <laughs> I guess that's what you call this. I don't, don't know how much fun it's going to be cleaning up the big mess that I just made, but... We'll see. Boy, that's just a pretty cool idea. No, well, we got Bear's hair in there. We don't want that. He wouldn't care, but... Okay, I think we need a yellow one there. That's what's missing. Okay, then now it says I've got to bake these things at 350 degrees on a shiny metal pan. Or I can't even read. I took my glasses off. Grease the bottom. Oh no, I greased the whole thing. Well, it'll be alright. Okay, so now I gotta bake it. I gotta figure out how long because I got all different size pans here. Oh, probably about 25, 29 minutes or so. So this is, I'm gonna pause the video for a while here and then I'll get these in the oven and see how they cook out here. And then I'm sure Bear will be back to eat once they get smelling good. So hang on while they bake. Well, I just put them in the oven here now, and I've got it set for 350 degrees. So I'm going to close the door, and then I'll set the timer for 
I don't know, let's go for 20 minutes and then I'll take a look at them. And then we'll see how they're cooking. Meanwhile, I got a big mess to clean up here. These monkeys aren't going to help me do that. So I should have that all done in 20 minutes, but no problem. Bear's waiting for his cake to get done here. <laughs> yeah, he was licking up the floor for me. We kind of had a little bit of splatter with the mixing process, but that worked out okay. Well, it's got five minutes to go, then I'm going to stick a toothpick in them and see what happens. See if they blow up. What do you think, Bear? Wow, that's a close-up view. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I know. You've, you've got to wait till it gets done cooking. And then it's got to cool down. And it's not your birthday today. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you ready now? Okay, why don't you wait while I check them? Yeah, I know. You're pretty eager, aren't you? Huh? You pretty want to get your cake? Yeah, I bet you do. Well, you're going to have to wait a while. Sneak peek. we got 15 minutes in and they're cooking pretty nice. But I better close this door here. Check on them again later. Well, the cakes have been in here a little over 20 minutes, so I'm going to stab them here with a toothpick and see what happens. See if they explode. Boy, it's warm in there. Ooh, I'd say that this little guy's probably done because there's no cake sticking to the toothpick. That's what my mother and my grandmother told me. And they used to know how to bake. Well, this one might be done too. Wow, that's pretty cool. This guy looks a little soft in the middle there. They didn't get as big as I thought they would. And I don't think that one's quite done yet. Well, so I better pull them out. Hang on while I do that. Boy, don't those things look nice. <laughs> I think they turned out pretty good. A little hot to mess with right now. The other one I put back in the oven for just a little bit longer because it was so thick. So they should be. Smell good. I like those Fruit Loops. That was a nice colorful idea. Kind of makes it look like a Christmas cake. And then I'll probably put peanut butter frosting on some of them for Bear because he really likes peanut butter. So I'm going to check the other one here and see how that one's doing. Well, it's doing pretty good. It's hot in there. Ooh, I'm working on my suntan. Going to have to cook with my shirt off. I don't know, that might be pretty dangerous. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to pause a minute here. Boy, does that look nice and fancy or what? Bear, he wants to try a piece of it, don't you? Huh? It's pretty hot to eat now. Yeah, you like that, won't you? <laughs> I don't want to wreck my masterpiece here, but this is going to be for Bear. And this one, whatever he wants, you can have them all. This one's kind of hot yet to take out. Yeah, it came right out of there, no problem. And this one will come out real nice too. But it's still pretty hot yet. So I'm going to let them cool down. A little bit anyway. I should be nice and give Bear a piece of this, shouldn't I? He's been waiting so good here. Yeah, you like your cake. Yeah. But your birthday's not until Wednesday, though. <laughs> You'll eat this whole thing if I put it down there, won't you? It's kind of hot, though, Bear. Oh, this looks pretty good, hey? It's hot. He don't care. A little pain's worth it, he says. Well, <laughs> I think I ruined my nice cake here, but all in all, it worked out pretty good. Had a little, it's fun here, making Bear another birthday cake. He's four years old in two days. Time sure is going by fast. And thanks a lot for watching our video. Hope you guys are all having a good day. Well, Bear, he really likes his cake, so I've cut it in half for him, and I'll give him half of it now. I don't want to give him too much at one time, but he really likes this stuff. There you go, buddy. Did I make you some coffee to go with it? Huh? That's pretty good. Yeah, you didn't even need peanut butter frosting. Oh, now it says they're done, but... Okay, I gotta turn off the buzzer here and I'm gonna take a look at these clips and see how they all work. Hope everybody's having a good day and thank you for watching my videos.